And plus, I'm too fucking resilient to be crying over some shit like this, you know? <laughs> Hey, Pom Pom Gang, how y'all doing? Um, I am about to do a spontaneous haircut. Um, well, it's not really spontaneous because I have given it some thought, but I'm about to just do it. Like, I'm not just, cu I'm cutting it all off, like fade and everything, line up, all that. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting in front of the barber. My appointment is at 11. It's about 10.30, a little bit after 10.30. And um, I just wanted y'all to get a look of my hair right now um, before I go in there and have him cut it all off. So this is my hair in its most natural state. Uh, I got up early this morning and washed it and um, conditioned it and let it air dry and put any kind of product in it at all. Um, just because I don't really know how you're supposed to have your hair before you get a haircut. Um, so there's nothing in my hair at all other than being washed and conditioned and I didn't comb it or anything. So this is just, this is it. This is, this is it. So, um, lately I've been kind of struggling with my hair and, um, I, I've had, I have a lot of stuff on my plate and, um, stress and anxiety is my number one enemy when it comes to any and everything that I do in life like it, it is my biggest struggle and I struggle with I, I have good days and I think that's with anybody with any kind of illness you have good days and you have bad days and my bad days lately have been really taking a toll on my health I've just been battling with my my overall health um as far as mentally and physically so um 2020 is right around the corner we're about to start a new year and i don't want to start stop doing my youtube stuff i really do enjoy it it's a great creative outlet i love to share my ideas and just have fun with it and i never want to lose focus on that and sometimes i feel like i do lose focus on it being something fun and that i enjoy doing so um why this is all related to my hair is because um because of all of the anxiety of posting and sharing put a lot of pressure on me and it's kind of taking the fun out of it i've been stressing unnecessarily because with anxiety you kind of just you're in your own head just making up scenarios and i do a lot of that i do a lot of overthinking um i definitely do a lot of overthinking and i know when my anxiety gets the best of me because of my health i know when my body is deteriorating i know those signs where okay i'm not doing something right because you know the my body starts giving me those signs like okay we need to calm down so one of the biggest signs that my body has given me this year that i am just taking on too much is my hair loss like i've lost so much hair I, I i started losing a lot of hair because of my iron deficiency i had really really low iron to the point that they wanted to give me a blood transfusion and you know that that puts a big hurt in your in your hair growth in your health period i was tired i was grumpy i was irritable um my relationship with my husband was starting to deteriorate my relationship with my kids uh, was definitely on pins and needles after i got that problem fixed um i, I was still losing a lot of hair and um i realized that i haven't been taking care of myself physically as far as like I, I i used to go to the gym pretty frequently at least five times a week especially in the beginning of this year right before i started doing youtube and with the youtube thing i've kind of let the gym go from not taking care of myself physically or mentally and um letting a lot of things put putting myself on the back burner um, has definitely taken a toll on my health and I know that because of my hair growth um, so I, I had like excessive shedding um, my hair wasn't growing at the rate that it usually was so my hair is a lot thinner than what it was in the beginning of the year and once I, I realized how much hair I was losing and from the excessive shedding like I was afraid to do my hair I was afraid to touch my hair I didn't know what to do to try to reverse it it was just it was it was another problem added and it was making me more upset knowing that 
that my hair wasn't growing and my hair was falling out so um and it's because I haven't been taking care of myself. So I get a lot of people who reach out, like, how do you get your hair to grow? Like, my hair's not growing. Like, I have this. Like, you know, there's no amount of products or any product out there that can restore damaged hair. Like, if it's damaged, if it's broken, if it's off, it's just best to replace it. Like, there's just, there's no amount of product. And the best way to regain that health again is taking care of yourself. You know, so I get a lot of people like, well, what products are you using to get your hair to grow? Like, it's, it's not a product. It's not. It's taking care of myself. That is the best product you can have um, when it comes to hair growth and seeing that hair retention, your hair growth and your thickness and your curl patterns. It's all about your health. So again, when it comes to your hair growing, if you notice that you're having these problems, check your diet, check your physical health. And check your mental health because hair loss is probably the biggest sign that your body is telling you something is not right. So yeah, very emotional and um, it's, it's definitely, it's a conversation I've had with my husband, with my mother, um, with close friends, just letting them know what's bothering me so they, you know, kind of understand where I'm at mentally. And they've been, you know, great help as far as try, trying to recommend things I can do and trying to be there for me. So, and I just want to be open about it because I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about the bad days. Like everybody loves to show off those good days, but you never know what goes on to get to those good days. I'm a whole lot stronger than my bad days. And and it's okay to have those days because sometimes you need those bad days to make you realize, you know what, I'm the fucking shit. Like, um, so always take care of yourself. And that's what I want to come kind of come on here and, and talk about is take care of yourself physically and mentally but I just want y'all to understand where I am right now so you know just to clarify that it's not all glam over here it isn't although I love I would love it to be it just isn't so I'm about to head in now and um hopefully he'll let me record I'm not quite sure if he'll let me do like a little small clips of him cutting it off but I'm about to get the shit all off <laughs> and I am somewhat excited because it just, to me, a haircut just means a new beginning. And this is definitely a new beginning. How long are you growing this thing? Uh, my baby is two, th about three years. Yep, cut it off. <laughs> It'll grow back. <laughs> All the hair on the floor. <laughs> and it has been done. <laughs> it is all, it's all gone, guys. It is completely gone. So, this is me right out of the barbershop. Like, I haven't even taken a shower to get all this hair and crap off of me. Um, this is it. Like, she ain't got no more hair. Um, and it feels so liberating, like, cutting all that off. It really did. It felt good. So y'all can follow me through this new journey of healthy hair, healthy hair, healthy life, healthy, just being healthy all around. And that's really what I want the Pom Pom Sisters to you know, our brand to be about is having healthy hair, not just having hair. Anybody can buy hair, but having healthy growing hair. I have never gone this short. Um, and this is my third, my third big chop. Yes, this is my third one. That was four years of growth that I just cut off. Like it is gone. Um, and yeah, this is Big Chop number three, 2019, 2020, new year, new me. Who this? <laughs>